In a bid to discover a suitable operating system for this 15 plus year old MacBook Pro, I performed installations of macOS Sequoia and macOS Ventura using OpenCore Legacy Patcher. The configuration of this MacBook Pro is 2.26 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, 8 GB of DDR3 memory, 1 TB of HDD storage, NVIDIA GeForce 9400 256MB graphics, and running macOS X Yosemite 10.10.5. I switched out the HDD for an SSD in a bid to provide better transfer speeds on this device. The installation of the latest versions of macOS Sequoia and macOS Ventura on this MacBook Pro mid-2009 require the use of OpenCore Legacy Patcher. I head over to the Dortenia OpenCore Legacy Patcher website and click on Getting Started. I click Creating macOS Installers and click OpenCore Legacy Patcher Release Apps. I scroll down and select OpenCore dash patcher dash gui dot app dot zip and the download begins when the download is completed i double click to extract the app and proceed to install it i click open when this pops up and enter the system password when prompted When the installation completes and the app opens, I connect the USB to the MacBook Pro and click Create macOS Installer. I select Download macOS Installer. I tick Show Older Stroke Beta Versions. Select macOS Big Sur and click Download. From my experience, installing macOS Big Sur and later upgrading it to either macOS Ventura or macOS Sequoia, guarantees a more reliable and error-free installation when working on this MacBook Pro mid-2009. The download completes and is validated and the installer is extracted. When the extraction is completed, I am prompted to create the macOS installer and I click Yes. I select Install macOS Big Sur and I select my USB device. It is advisable to use a USB device of size not less than 16 GB. Everything on the USB device will be erased so be sure to make a backup of the device if you have anything important on it. The creation runs for several minutes and I get this message of the success of the macOS installer creation. I select yes to install OpenCore to the USB disk. I click install to disk and select the USB and EFI partitions to proceed with the installation. After a few seconds, I am prompted to reboot the MacBook Pro to complete the process. I am now set for the fresh installation of macOS Big Sur to this MacBook Pro. I have here a USB 3.0 hub. A USB 2.0 hub or better is required to handle the macOS installation issues associated with USB 1.1 devices like this MacBook Pro. I connect a USB mouse, a USB keyboard and the installation USB to the USB hub and I boot the device while holding down on the options key. I select the EFI boot option and select install macOS Big Sur. On this page, I select this utility and click continue. I select view menu in the top and click Show All Devices. I select the SSD storage and click Erase. I name the SSD storage and leave the format as APFS and the scheme as GUID Partition Map and I click Erase. 
I close this utility and select install Mac OS Big Sur and I click continue. I click continue to proceed. I select agree and select the SSD storage and click continue. The installation begins and runs smoothly for about 65 minutes with the device restarting a couple of times before landing on this page. I proceed to set up the MacBook Pro and thereafter I run the open core root patches to ensure the best performance of Mac OS Big Sur on this 15 plus year old device. From here it is quite easy to install Mac OS Sequoia by simply heading over to system preferences and checking for a software update. When this page comes up, I click upgrade now to begin the process of upgrading this MacBook Pro to Mac OS Sequoia. The OS is downloaded and the installation is initiated. I enter the system password when prompted and the installation begins and runs for about 50 minutes before the device restarts automatically and runs for a few more minutes then lands on the login page. I log in and run the open core root patches to ensure the best performance of macOS Sequoia on this device. It might be necessary to connect the MacBook Pro to the internet with an Ethernet cable in order to enable the open core patcher download the latest KDK build before performing the patches. The patches are performed, the device is restarted and now running the latest version of macOS Sequoia. To install macOS Ventura from macOS Big Sur, the sequence of steps is quite different from that of macOS Sequoia. I head over to Open Core Legacy Patcher app and select Create macOS Installer. I select Download macOS Installer and select macOS Ventura from the list of macOS installers. I click Download to begin the download. I get this prompt informing me about the potential issues associated with installing macOS Ventura on this device. I select download anyways to begin the download. The download, validation and extraction lasted for about 10 minutes after which I am prompted to create the macOS installer. I click no to terminate the operation. I return to the main menu to close the open core legacy patcher app. I proceed to the launchpad and locate the install macOS Ventura app. I click to run it and click continue and agree. I click continue and enter the system password to proceed with the installation. The installation runs for several minutes before restarting and running for a few more minutes then it lands on the login page. I am prompted to install the open core root patches when I log in and I proceed to do so. The system reboots when the patching is completed and the device is now running the latest version of macOS Ventura and ready to use. If you found this video helpful or insightful, check in the video description for the video on testing out four operating systems on this 15 plus year old MacBook Pro. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.